Hey guys. Okay. Welcome to the first live ever <laughs> with Simply Nourished. Um, I just was fixing to make a quick granola. We we're going camping this weekend and I thought why not play around with this see if we can make it work. I'll probably be figuring out camera angles and if I have things backwards or not. This is going to be um, strange to me trying to figure everything out. I think I have it. Let's see. Can you read that? I think I have it flipped to where you can read things, but if not, I'll walk you through what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to wait for people to hop on because I know um, early in the morning, there's a lot of people working, doing different things. So I'm just going to make this real quick and then you can watch the replay whenever. If you are watching the replay, comment hashtag replay so that it will pop up in your friends feeds and um, be seen by more people. Um, if you don't know, since this is my first video, let me introduce myself real quick. I am Jennifer Gerald, otherwise known as JJ, Coach JJ. Uh, I am a new THM Certified Lifestyle Coach. I have been following the program for about five years. Um, haven't always been super consistent with it, but um, the principles have stayed with me the whole time. Um, I've been much more consistent this last year, and feeling so much better. I, I'm down a total of uh, probably 28 pounds right now, maybe 30. <clears throat> and I am, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm committed. I'm totally committed no matter what. I, I know that as we get older, it's a little harder to lose the weight that we want to lose, but I feel so much better. Just the health that I know we can have through this lifestyle of eating. So, um, I am a mom of two, the wife of almost 25 years, and I'm now an empty nester. So a lot of these recipes that you'll see me do, I do on a smaller scale, or I use that to my advantage and freeze things or plan different ideas with things so that I can reuse recipes or stretch them out into leftovers throughout the week. So I hope that just gives you a little bit about me, and let's make some crunchy granola. Um, I love the crunchy granola. You can buy granola at the stores, but most of them have things that I personally don't care for. Um, Coach Amy, my best friend, her favorite granola is an S granola. If you're not familiar with Trim Healthy Mama, we write things like S, E, Fuel Full. And hers is an S because it has coconut. And JJ don't do coconut. Let's see who's here. Ah, it's Julie. Hey, Julie, good morning kiss on that baby. Okay, um, so the reason I like crunchy granola, it's an E. It's got oats and the Trim Healthy Mama bacon blend, and I typically just use this as a topping on my yogurt. I have big texture issues, so I like to have a little crunch with my yogurt. So, we're going to just mix this up a little bit. This is in the Trim Healthy Table cookbook. Trim Healthy Table I believe was their second cookbook, and that's on page 361 if you have the book. Um, I can't share the recipe because it is copyrighted, but um, sometimes they will make things public facing, so you can always search Trim Healthy Mama um, Crunchy Granola and see if they've made it public facing. But it is page 361 in Trim Healthy Table cookbook. So you need to have a big pan. Spray it with some coconut oil. I like this Pam coconut oil here. And I know you kind of see my mess. I've got all kinds of stuff piled up to pack camping, plus all my ingredients here. And I'm gonna show you a few of the things that I'm gonna take camping with me, just to give you an idea. But we've sprayed our pan. I've got um, Old Fashioned Oats. This is the brand that I like to use with that. That's the Bob Mills, uh, Bob's Red Mill, I should say. And um, this is the old fashioned oats. So I've got that in here. Then we're gonna add the bacon blend. I love their bacon blend, but I don't go through it very much because I just don't do a lot of cooking that needs the bacon blend. So I keep this in my fridge or my freezer just to make it last longer. It is so good, it is gluten free. For those of you who are new to Trim Healthy Mama, it is gluten free, but it is a, a a baking blend with oat fiber, coconut flour, golden flax meal, collagen, all the good stuff, almond flour, stuff like that. So that is a great 
great way to stay on plan without having the sugar spiking of flour. Okay, bacon blend. Then it calls for protein powder. And Trim Healthy Mama has a great whey protein powder. And it is, it's full of clean ingredients, but I don't particularly care for any protein powder. I've tried many different kinds and it's just not something I do. So on Trim Healthy Mama, they also offer collagen and that's typically what I substitute is collagen. And you can do it the exact same ratio, but I'm gonna try something new today. Recently, Trim Healthy Mama came out with a plant protein and it's called the Creamy Dreamy Plant Protein and it is a hemp seed super source. So I'm actually going to take the amount that I'm supposed to use of the protein powder and do half collagen and half of the plant protein and try. Um, I'm not sure what it is about the pristine whey that I just don't care for, but it's really good. Um, my son actually uses it. Um, I bought him a bunch of their strawberry whey protein powder because he likes to have a protein shake when he is working out and mama doesn't like him doing that. So I bought him some clean stuff. So that is my mixture, collagen. I keep it on my counter because it goes in my coffee every day. Just gives me some protein to add in. Um, with Trim Healthy Mama, we anchor everything in protein. Our snacks, our meals, everything in protein to help with balance in blood sugar. That's what it's all about. Okay, then I need some salt. And I'm not doing the measurements just because of it being a um, copyrighted recipe. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in um, the comments and I will get to those in just a minute. Let's see, I don't wanna lose my place. Where is my cinnamon? I love, I used to never use cinnamon. That's not gonna fit in there. And I have found that I love it. Yes. And if you wanna get the best cinnamon for your money, get Ceylon cinnamon. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. You can get regular cinnamon at, um, you know, at Walmart, but for the best health benefits, get the same. Okay, the next thing is gentle sweet. That's our my sweetener of choice from Trim Healthy Mama. Um, it does not spike your blood sugar like sugar does, but it gives you that great sweetened taste. So it calls for gentle sweet and stevia, and they have the best pure stevia that I've tried. A lot of stevia I find has a very bitter taste and theirs does not. And it only takes a teeny tiny amount. So while it seems pricey, this, I mean, I haven't refilled this in forever. And I mean, it's like to right here. You just use a tiny bit every time of the stevia. But let's get our gentle sweet in here. Let's see, make sure I've got the right thing. Since I'm having the recipes, I'm having to do math. I don't particularly care for math. So, that's my gentle sweet. They have another sweetener called Super Sweet, which is basically twice the sweetener of this, but I don't use that um, very often. I find that I prefer gentle sweet in almost everything. Uh, let's see. So you will use a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of the stevia here, but I'm gonna show you, make sure. Ooh, I'm glad I double checked that. I knew that looked awfully large. Yes, <laughs> don't want to do more stevia than necessary because you will definitely taste it. <laughs> so normally we use this little measuring spoon right here. It is teeny tiny. Let me see, I can't really reach. This is a half of a teaspoon. So if you can see that at all, I don't know if, it, if it's showing up. There, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. But that's why it lasts so long. So most things, like a single serve drink or something, you would just be using the tiniest amounts. So it goes much, much further. Okay, so that's our dry ingredients. We're gonna combine all those in a large bowl. What I've got here, my stainless steel mixing bowl from Pampered Chef. I really do love this thing. I had a party years ago and um, 
and got this there. So, all right, we're gonna add egg whites. I've already got those measured out. Got egg whites, and yes, guys, I buy these in a carton because that's just the 100% liquid egg whites. Um, I do try to buy the cage-free when I can, but as we know, the supply chain is all messed up right now. So, but liquid egg whites, it just makes life so much easier. Um, we're going to use vanilla extract. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. I didn't think I was going to be able to get the, get it off. Let's see. All right. Make sure I'm doing my measurements right. I don't, <laughs> I'm not used to talking to people while I cook. My kids are gone. Now, my daughter, she loves this crunchy granola, but it calls for maple extract, and she doesn't care for it. So, she had asked me the last time I made this to not put maple, to use straight vanilla. Well, guys, I didn't care for it. It took all I could do to finish that. Um, so, I'm excited she ain't here. So, I don't have to do what she wants me to do anymore. This is MCT oil, which is medium chain triglycerides. Um, it's derived from coconut oil. The brand I use, I believe, is on it, and it is straight coconut oil. There's no palm oil added. A lot of MCT oils will have palm oil, and I try to avoid that when possible. Palm oil, there are some benefits there, but most of the palm oils out there are not farmed in an environmentally friendly way, so I just avoid it to not have to research all the different companies. All right, let's see what's next. I got my MCT. I think that's it, guys. Egg whites, vanilla, maple extract if you want to use it, and then the MCT oil, yep. And then you just stir it all up until you get everything kind of damp. And I know you can't really see into the bowl. There we go. Maybe you can see a little bit. Let's see who's talking. Oh, Beth Davis, good morning. Thank you. I love my kitchen, too. This was... Um, Basically, uh-oh, sorry, that's Jazzy. If you haven't met Jazzy yet, I'm not sure who she sees. <laughs> Maybe my husband. I hope it's my husband. Maybe my husband. Since we're getting ready for camping, he's out there working on stuff. She probably sees him through the window and doesn't realize who it is. I apologize. Real life, y'all. This is just what you do. But, yes, so... Kind of show you, it's just getting, whoops, pick that back up. I'm not wasting any of these good ingredients, especially considering the majority of my ingredients are organic. <laughs> and I cleaned my counter before I did them. Y'all know what it's like. This is just for me. Anyway, yeah, she is, she is her mama's protector. She likes to keep me safe and let us know all the stuff. This is gonna have to cook for about an hour. The recipe says 45 to 50 minutes, but I always find that mine, to get the crunch I like, needs a little bit more time. And so I like to do just a little bit more. Easy peasy, guys. And then all you do is spread it on the pan. That's it. Now, this is half the recipe. Um, it does keep well in a Ziploc, but since it's just me and red and I only use it, I don't use it like as a full bowl of cereal. I just use it as a garnish. It lasts forever, and I don't mind making up a fresh batch because I want that crunch. So, I've already got my oven preheated, and I'm going to get this going. And I'll have to post a picture when I get it out of the oven in just a little bit to show y'all what it is gonna look like because y'all do not wanna sit around for 50 minutes with me while that cooks. <laughs> um, I did wanna show you, okay, with Trim Healthy Mama, buy a bunch of measuring spoons. I have this little container that just stays crammed full of measuring spoons so that I can have all the different Sorry. Jazzy. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All the different measuring spoons at my disposal. 
But I did want to show you a few things that I'm taking camping. First and foremost, my little happy camper. Look how cute. This came from Amy. So it just hasn't made it out to the, she gave it to me a few weeks ago. It just hasn't made it out to the camper, but it's going out there today. Um, I always, always, always take collagen with me wherever I go. I have a, I can't see. I have a smaller container of it somewhere over here. Oh, it's way over there. I can't reach it. But anyway, I always take my collagen, so I try to have a smaller one. Then um, I have a smaller container of Gentle Sweet. I can't reach it either. I was trying to make space, and it's too far over there. I don't know where or when I might use this plant protein, but I know that uh, Coach Amy with Southern and Healthy, she's going to be camping with us because she's my BFF. And she is going to be bringing the hot chocolate mix. So I may bring some protein to try in there and just see how I like it because we want to stay centered in protein for our blood sugar. Um, I'm going to bring another bag of oats. I used up almost this whole bag, but I'm going to bring another bag of oats for a good E breakfast. And um, so I'll need my oats and then I'll take my cinnamon because I put cinnamon in my oatmeal. Let's see, Julie's asking a question. Does this stay in S if I use almond milk for cereal? No, so this recipe, Julie, is an E because of the oats. The oats are the carb source, so it's going to be an E. Now, for your husband and your kids, you could use, um, well, yeah, so it's not an S, but if you're using unsweetened almond milk, I think you can have up to a cup. Let me see the fat content. Let's see. It's going to depend on your fat, but you will be staying in an E. So the fat in this, this is um, an organic unsweetened almond milk, and the fat in this brand is three grams. So you could stay in E mode. If you wanted a crossover for your husband and your kids or for you as you're nursing, you could have a little extra fat with this meal. So um, for a trim healthy mama, if you're in an E mode, you want to keep your fat to five grams of fat or less. And there is, I was looking back to see. So the only fat in this recipe comes from the MCT oil. So you wouldn't, I wouldn't really worry about that. I would do this. So, hey, Jessica. Yes, so this is an E recipe, carbs. You've got a carb. But um, the milk would be fuel pool, so you would be okay. Change it to something different. Um, maybe cashew milk if you wanted a crossover or add fat in another way for all your crossover people. Crossovers, for those of you who do not know, are um, when you take an S meal, which is satisfying fats, and an E meal, which is energizing carbs, and combine them. Typically, in weight loss mode, we want to keep those separated, but you're still on plan if you cross over. And a lot of times, our husbands with faster burning metabolisms, our children, or our nursing or pregnant mamas want to use crossovers. Now, you don't have to cross over every meal, but it's an option there for you to make sure you are keeping as much fuel going as you need. Good question. Okay, so I will also be taking almond milk and cashew milk with me. That's in the refrigerator. Now, this is honey, and it's for my husband. And we all know that sometimes you have to keep things that maybe aren't as weight loss friendly for us on hand for our family. Um, honey is okay, though. I mean, it's got so many health benefits. And I think Trim Healthy Mama's official stance is one teaspoon of raw honey is, it has enough health benefits to, you know, to be okay. You do want to watch how you react to it. If you are addicted to sweets, you may not need to have any honey for a little while and just kind of break those habits. But this is for my husband's coffee. What I put in my coffee is right back here, and it's my favorite. It's caramel nut pods. I can't get any closer, because if I bring the camera closer, then it cuts off everything. Caramel nut pods, this is the best. It's all I put in my coffee for flavor. Now, I do add the collagen to have protein. I'm not a big breakfast eater, um, so sometimes I need a little extra protein to amp up my breakfast. Um, with Trim Healthy Mama, I have learned I feel so much better when I eat breakfast. So I'm trying to do that more often. But I still like to have my collagen just because it, it just is great. 
It's got so many health benefits. It starts my morning off well. So there's that. MCT, it's got to go. It's got to go. I do it. I have a bunch of sweet potatoes here. These are Mississippi sweet potatoes. Yes, Mississippi sweet potatoes. Those will be coming. I've got a great big old huge uh, fruit bowl. And Jessica, if you're still here, Lily's. Lily's white chocolate peppermint, and yes, I have eaten a lot of this, but alas, somebody pulled up. just great to grab in the afternoon with a collagen coffee for a e-snack. That would be healthy carbs. Okay, I'm a little bit of a chocolate freak, and we're going to be gone for four nights. So while I typically limit how often I allow myself to have lilies, this is all the chocolate I have packed. A Trim Healthy Mama bar, a Lily's hazelnut Butterfield bar, Lily's creamy milk chocolate, and then the peppermint white chocolate. Let me give you a point, ladies. These three are considered personal choice on Trim Healthy Mama. So I will be limiting these even more than I had been in the past. And the reason is because they have dextrin and inulin. And those can spike your sugar, even though these um, are sweetened with um, like stevia and erythritol probably. The dextrin can spike some people's blood sugar, and it also is just keeping that sweet taste to where, oh, I always, I gotta have something sweet. Pick up a piece of fruit. Don't let yourself rely on this too much, but because I'm gonna be gone four nights, and we're gonna be doing campfires and things like that, I wanna have it with me just in case. I also have the makings for s'mores. So typically, you would have graham crackers, which I do have, Hershey's, which I do have, and marshmallows, okay? This is for, mostly for Amy's kids. Um, I had bought this for my kid when she came home this past weekend, and then she ended up not making s'mores. <laughs> I should have sent it back to Florida with her, but I knew we were going camping, so I still have it. That does not tempt me. If it tempts you, don't bring it in your house. But let me tell you how I'm going to make a s'more on plan. So these are, my bag's upside down, Light rye wasa crackers. I don't know if you can see it through the Ziploc, there may be a glare. Light rye wasa crackers. I'm going to take one of the pieces of cracker and I'm going to break it in half. And then these Max Mellows are, they were at our Walmart. I haven't seen them, but Amy bought this. And um, because of the inulin, she just has a really sensitive tummy and she doesn't do this often. So, she passed these on to me for me to try, and it worked great. This actually says burnt caramel marshmallows. It's pretty dang good. Um, once again, I won't do this often. Another thing, I'm going to have to be super, super careful with Jazzy. This is made with xylitol, and xylitol is deadly to dogs. So it typically does not come in my house. Um, this is probably the only thing xylitol in my entire house. So I've been very careful with where I put this, just so she doesn't get it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do chocolate from the lilies. That will be my dessert when we do s'mores. And I won't feel deprived at all. I don't feel like I have to mix out, miss out anything. So the other nights, Amy already has a dessert. She's fixing to go live in just a second. So you can finish with me and then hang up and go see Amy's live. Um, actually, no, it's not a public live. Sorry, that's for her buds this morning, or blooms, one of them. It's one of her groups. <laughs> That's one of the great things about being in Greece is the lives that we do. Anyway, she is making a dessert this morning and she's gonna pack it on plan. So I have plenty to stay on plan with my desserts and not feel deprived. All right, I'm gonna stop ladies because Jazzy is seeing our painters. We're fixing to paint the outside of our house. We're trying to do some home projects. 
you know, end of the year, just kind of finalizing things. Um, and she's not happy that her mama is not acknowledging that there are people outside. <laughs> so I'm going to end the live. I see one more thing from Beth. I never thought to use something besides a graham cracker. Great idea. Yes. And then it seems like Jessica said something about Walmart. That, our Walmart is where Amy got this. But when I looked the other day, they didn't have them. But we know supply issues, they may be there now. Anyway, thank y'all for joining me. I hope this was okay. I'm going to watch it back and learn from this video. So thank y'all for interacting with me. Uh, I hope to come live at least two or three times a month here on my public page just to show you what I'm doing, how I'm staying on plan. I am a drive through too, which means I like quick and easy, but I'm a purist at heart. So I'm going to use organic and, you know, natural as good as, as much as I can. Bless my dog. Y'all have a great day.